I had been in touch with this tour company called All Thailand Experiences, and they had um, volunteered to donate a van and a driver who speaks English because they want Thailand to be the best, most fabulous, easiest country on my whole world trek. The email Polly sent me, she really wasn't asking for anything. She was kind of asked, you know, anything that you can do to help me get from the south of Thailand or north of Thailand, uh, she would appreciate. And uh, we said, okay, how about uh, transportation and uh, a driver? And uh, she said, wonderful. I loved Thailand. I loved the people and the food and everything about it, even the roads, big, wide shoulders, loved it. But they weren't right about one thing, and that's that Prayun, the driver, knew any English at all. Prayun and I sort of stared at each other the first day. <laughs> How are we going to get through the day together, let alone four months? We became terrific at charades, and we became the best of friends and have never had a conversation. The Thai people, for whatever reason, there's a lot of poorness there, and Polly wasn't really driven so much about uh, uh, building up a fund for the breast cancer cause. And she said it didn't matter how poor the people were, they had, they gave her like, you know, a sack full of tomatoes or something, or like 10 cents worth of coin or something. Over the four months of Prayun and I traveling up through the country together, it, it really evolved into him almost becoming the manager of this section of the walk. And he started being the one to communicate with the Lions Clubs every night. He started to organize the hospital tours and he was the one that the reporters could talk to so he started managing everything and uh, what a relief it's just that we could never talk to each other so he knew everything that was going on i never did i just walked nobody's prepared for total submersion into uh, thai society she was like in the rural areas in the countryside meeting school kids and, and just, just wonderful, wonderful stuff like that. Talking to her, the stories about the Thai people and how cars would stop along the sides of the road and the children would run up and, you know, give her one, two baht. I think that's what she'll probably remember the most. All the, the funds raised in Thailand was gonna to go towards the Lampang Regional Hospital, which is in northern Thailand, and it was gonna to go to start a breast cancer department in their hospital. The Lions Club had organized a, a walk through the city to raise funds. After that, we went to the hospital, which is the regional cancer treatment hospital in Lampang, which is south of Chiang Mai. But this hospital is very special because People could bring their own blankets from home, so they felt very secure and, and happy during their treatment there. We didn't do it just to help Polly with her cause for breast cancer awareness. A lot of it had to do with, once she started, to make sure that she just had just such a great experience. I mean, if you're gonna walk across the country, this probably be one of the best ones to do it. I think you'd have a lot of fun. 